Hi, my name is Cynthia Zhang. I'm in ninth grade and I live in Long Island, New York. It's usually pretty cold here during the winter, so there are several snowfalls and at least one snowstorm each year. So we have snow days set aside for school to get canceled if the roads get too slippery for buses. A snow day is always like a gift for students as we can take a break from school and then the next few days after the snow day we could go outside and play in the snow. My family and I would have snowball fights, build mini snowmen, one year we even built a snow cat, and we would also go sledding on makeshift laundry bag sleds, which, was, which we really enjoyed so we bought an actual sled that was more slippery. However, it's been three years since we bought that sled and we haven't used it at all because the snow would melt too quickly and global warming has made the largest impact on Long Island snowfall this year as there wasn't a single snowstorm and what's even more concerning is that this is the first year that I don't have, I didn't have a snow day for school because the snow would either melt as soon as it hits the ground or the layer of snow would be so thin that it would be foolish to even call for a snow day. This is really upsetting to know because we might be the last generation to experience snow on Long Island and future generations might not have this childhood experience that we all enjoy. And if Long Island is experiencing such drastic changes in climate, I can't imagine how the climate crisis is impacting the health of people in various ecosystems that organisms rely on in other areas of the world. However, I'm trying not to lose hope yet as I know that myself and many passionate youth activists are promoting climate resilience and raising environmental awareness. There's still that uncertainty that snow might not be saved but I think that if people work together, we can prevent future climate issues. Over the summer, I attended the Rewild Long Island Summer Program where I grew organic produce for food insecure families, which inspired me to start my own balcony garden by growing kitchen scraps. People don't need to commit to something as large as starting their own sustainable garden, but I believe if people chip in and incorporate small sustainable habits into their daily lives, it's enough to halt or potentially reverse the climate crisis bit by bit, day by day, one action at a time. Thank you.